hello everyone welcome to the financial information channel in this video i'm going to go over the details and the information about what is beta and how you can actually utilize beta to your advantage depending on your investing or trading style so let's start with the video and before we begin the video please leave in the comment below what type of beta do you prefer on specific stocks? Do you prefer a higher beta or a lower beta? I would like to know that information just out of curiosity. So before we begin the video, I just wanted to remind you that basically I created a playlist about stock market 101 where I go into detail about the stock market in case you are new to the stock market, new to investing or stock trading so beta what it means is how big of a jump or a decrease is going to have for that specific stock now to keep that in mind the stock market beta is 1.0 now some stocks have under one percent that means that they're not gonna have a huge jump however if you see a stock over one that means that it has a potential to either go up a huge amount or even go down a huge amount and this is one of the key terms when you're doing fundamental analysis and the reason is this actually replaces the reading the charts so you can see the trend instead of seeing the trends on the charts you actually see the beta now keep in mind that this beta depends on your investing style it all depends to you is your risk tolerance really high then in that case having a beta of over one is gonna basically give you that opportunity to have huge gains in the stock market or huge losses however if you're a conservative then having a beta under one is going to make sure that your portfolio is not going to go on huge swings on either way and as usual i'm going to go over a few examples so you can get an idea in real life what a high beta means now the following stock is amd and the beta that it has is over three as of right now which is june 2017 the beta is 3.08 uh, let me explain how you can read when you see a beta over one percent that means that it's going to go based on the percentage on that uh, number now because the amd has a beta of 3.08 that means that the volatility which means how high or how low the stock moves is over 308 percent of the regular stock market now keep in mind that beta like i said earlier is how huge of a jump or how huge of a decrease it does and in May 2017, AMD reported average earning reports and the stock got hammered. AMD stock suffered 28% once they finished reporting the earnings. That happens in a single day. And one of the reasons is the stock has a huge beta. So that was the reason why the stock dropped so much in about two days. Now the question is to you, are you willing to have that risk tolerance when you have that type of a stock? with that huge beta and your answer will depend if you're completely younger and you have a lot of time to invest however older people are going to say that is too much of a risk when you have that type of company now let's take a look at the other company that has a low beta and that's going to be coca-cola now on the screen you see that the beta for that company is 0.68 and that's what it means is that the stock almost moved almost 50 percent less than when the regular stock market moves so let me give you an example let's say the stock market moves 10 percent for the whole year then coca-cola is going to move around 68 percent of that 10 percent that the stock market moves. now the advantages is that you won't have that huge of a drop that we saw earlier with amd however you won't be able to have a huge growth potential and now we're going to take a look at another company and that company is going to be alphabet now alphabet which is google basically the beta at this moment is 0.93 so as you can see google is a huge company and it has a low beta because it's very stable and it's not gonna move way too much up or way too much in the opposite direction and beta what it means is your, your investing style in your portfolio you can have five stocks and most of those stocks are gonna be on their one however you can say i want to have most of my five stocks in my portfolio under one but i want to add another stock that is over one 
without going over 1.25 for example and in the following screen i'm showing you the chevron stock that stock has a beta of over 1.22 and what it means is that it moves 22 percent higher than the stock market or it could move 22 percent lower than the regular stock market and keep in mind that is in a single movement so it's going to have a little bit of volatility now one of the things to keep in mind is that beta can change over time in the following screen you will see apple stock the beta around two years ago was a little over one however in 2017 the beta at this moment is 1.43 and as you might remember at the beginning of 2016 apple dropped a huge amount and it dropped a huge amount because there was a lot of concerns that the stock was losing a lot of sales and the iPhone sales were slowing down. I remember at that time, the Apple stock was around 92 or $93 for each share. But now look at the price at this moment, 153.93 cents. And that is one of the many reasons why the beta has moved a quite a bit for the Apple stock. So if you see a stock that has a lower beta that in what it used to have before, that means that the movement of that stock has a slowdown. If you see a beta that has increased, that means that the stock has either gone up quite a bit or go down quite a bit. However, if you see a stock that has gone up quite a bit or go down quite a bit, that means that the beta has moved a lot. If you plan to do day trading, then beta becomes really important because you want to have a stock that moves quite a bit during the day and if you're a swing trader that means that you may want to have a mix of the stocks that have a beta of 1 or 1.50 or a little bit higher it just depends on your investing style now if you're a long-term investor for a specific company then the beta doesn't become that big of an issue because you're going to keep that company for the long term and even if it moves down or even if it moves down that's not going to affect your adjustment on that stock now on my portfolio i have companies that have the beta over one but in my opinion to me it doesn't make a huge difference and the reason is i have some companies that i just want to keep adding shares you know for the long-term investment and other companies that i use just for swing trader i just to see if that company is worth investing and as a reminder, when you start investing into a company, make sure that you don't go all in in that specific company. And that means, let's say that you have a thousand dollars to use on that company, you're gonna start using only five hundred of out of those two thousand. And the reminder, you just get an idea and wait to see how the stock is going to react. And you can actually use the beta to get an idea what is gonna be your annual return for those specific stocks. And one of the things that I do is keep a stock that is very safe so I can have my portfolio diversified. And at the same time, if a stock market crash happens, those specific stocks tend to do better when the economy is really bad. And I'm actually referring to the low beta stocks because they don't usually tend to drop quite as much as the other companies. And when looking to a company, use beta. If you don't use technical analysis as one of the key metrics when deciding to invest into a company. And as usual, I just wanted to give you that information about what is beta. Keep in mind that anytime that you do any investments or any trading, that is going to be your choice. And that comes with a huge disclaimer. I just wanted to make sure that you are in control of your own account. And as usual, I want to thank you once again for watching the video. Subscribe to the financial information channel where I want to bring you more videos about the stock market, about how to invest personal finance. And I created the playlist Stock Market 101 where you're gonna get more information about the stock market, some of the key terms in the stock market. And if you're new, please make sure that you check out that playlist. And I have the stock market news when something really huge happens, I'm gonna make a video about it. And the stock market weekly recap where I go over what happened during the week about the companies that reported earnings. And I tell you my opinion what the companies will be reporting for the following week. And the other two playlists is about the company stock reviews where I go into detail about each specific companies and the top five uh, videos where I go over the five stocks that are really interesting. And I wanna thank you once again for watching the video. Please have an excellent day and take care my friends.